Geelong has secured a big sporting coup with Tour de France champ Cadell Evans spearheading a new cycling event next year. The great ocean road race will be open to professionals and the public with the homegrown hero leading the pack. Laura Spurway has the story. A pair of unlikely allies. Jump on, Premier. Coming together to announce the cycling champion's latest feat. The inaugural Cadell Evans Great Ocean Road Race. Something's going to be around for a lot longer than I'm going to be racing at a high level, that's for sure. It's a two-day event with an elite men's and women's race, plus a mass participation course for cycling enthusiasts. To add to the appeal of maybe coming down to Tour Down Under, I think that's going to be, um, that'll be important. The race is planned for the end of January next year, when school holidays are over to minimise disruption on the roads. The proposed course starts in Geelong and travels through Cadell's hometown of Barwon Heads, Torquay, Janjuk, Bells Beach and Moriac, finishing on the Geelong waterfront. When it comes to major events, Geelong is equal of any comparable city in the world. The Mayor says he won't be riding. As for the Premier... I will struggle to get the lycra on. Um, but, certainly... <laughs> but Australia's love affair with cycling is growing. Ever since Cadell's epic victory at the Tour de France in 2011. Four million Australians cycle regularly. In Victoria alone, more bikes were sold than motor vehicles in the past year, with the average household owning four to five bikes as opposed to two cars. It'll be a great injection of dollars and jobs in Geelong, Ballerine and Surf Coast. Major sporting events contribute around $1.4 billion a year to the Victorian economy. But in this race, it's scenery like this that organisers are hoping will be the draw card. I'm going to be racing in it, if that counts, but um, since I only live 20 kilometres away, maybe it doesn't. Laura Spurway, Nine News.